Hey, old Farmer Dre back at it. It's a beautiful Monday morning here on the farm. We are out here laying plastic for strawberries. We got the uh, raised beds made. More than half of them were made on Saturday. I just got done finishing the rest this morning. And we're out here with Adrian laying plastic. And it's like anything else in life, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Uh, we just laid these first two rows here, just dialed them in. It goes quick, nice and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this machine works. So this is a plastic mulch layer. It's a Rainflow 2600, the auto track system on it. And what it does, lays plastic and drip tape all in one pass. Uh, obviously, since we're making doing strawberries, we make the beds beforehand, so we pre-bed. And uh, then we come back through and lay plastic. And this was ran over twice without any plastic or drip. And this final pass here, we're making uh, the uh, plastic and drip going in there. It's nice and firm, solid raised bed, ready for strawberries. So I think, go ahead. Show you guys how this thing is gonna be working. So there you go. Lays plastic pretty quick. You got the auto track system working. It's getting enough coverage on the dirt on each side and we are good to go. Looking good, looking good. So my job is to stay on top of the seat here and to supervise. I like standing up. I like putting more weight here on the back to make a firmer raised bed. Making sure there's enough soil covering those edges there and that everything's going smoothly. So we're going on six foot center to center. So hopefully it goes pretty good and smooth without any issues. But overall, it's working pretty nice. Nice, fairly straight road. It's not 100% perfect, but it'll do. Could be better, but always could be worse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, lame plastic for strawberries. All right, so I do here at the end, just cut the plastic and drip. We'll do a few extra inches here for the drip so we can tie it off. Get the shovel, cover up the edges here. And that's about it. Maybe a razor, a razor isn't too good of an idea for this one. Razors are, they're sharp, but it's kind of tight. They work too good. That's a plastic first. Gotta follow the rules on these rollers. Make sure you go in there and the first one here first. And then underneath here. Here, go forward a bit, bro. Uh, forward a bit. A little bit forward, a little bit. Forward. Yeah. Hey, go down. Always make sure you tie down the drip. If you don't tie down the drip, you're in a big heat of trouble. You know why? Because you're gonna get to the end of the row and realize your drip tape came along with you. Then you have a row full of drip, so then you can't roll up the plastic. It just makes a big mess, so. Okay, go ahead. So this always happens at the beginning of the row. Not always, sometimes. Where the discs don't have enough dirt to begin with because they're shaped from the ground. And that plastic walking everywhere.
right, so as you guys can tell here, we did get rained out. Um, that hurricane that came through, I don't even know its name. Uh, it kind of blew through here. We just got kind of the aftermath. It rained a tenth of an inch. Adrian and I were out here. It started sprinkling a little, then the wind started blowing. And um, cable was coming down pretty good. came down pretty good for about a half hour or so. I mean, it didn't really soak anything much. Just kind of at the top. A few inches still dry underneath there. So it didn't really do much damage to the soil itself. But it was, uh, I was already super dusty. And you know, like, you know what? It was uh, good to go and uh, cool off and wait. So we're going to wait until the sun comes out. Uh, probably tomorrow we'll be out here again laying plastic. But as you can tell here, from the side wall of these raised beds, you know, just that top inch just kind of soaks. So everything's still pretty dry. And in between the rows here is a little, a little moist. But it's not too bad. But we got done laying this pretty quick. It went, it goes pretty fast. And like I said, the more you do it, the better and faster you'll get at it. And uh, we laid this all. There's 15 rows here. This is a third of the patch for this year. We laid about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, not even two hours. And just both of us, you know, the beds are ready to go. The tractor is dialed in. The mulch layer was dialed in. And it was just go time. Firm raised beds. We're getting good coverage on the plastic there. I mean, it, the wind was blowing pretty hard. 10, 15, 20 mile an hour. And it was uh, plastic stayed intact. And th this is when the plastic is most sensitive whenever you get done first laying it. Just because the soil is so fluffy on the edges there that once you get rain, it settles and then it's it's more secure. But if it's just too, it's too if it's too fluffy and too airy, and then you get a big windstorm come through, that's even though you still do the, still do it right, you could still have the possibility of of a piece of plastic getting full of wind and coming up. I've seen some pictures before, like a, a, a new field like this. I was laid. The guys didn't have time to do the end here. And a few rows, the wind just picked up and just kind of lifted up. So uh, whenever you get a first rainstorm, you're always going to come out here and inspect it. It looks pretty good. So like I said, tomorrow, hopefully, Adrian and I will be out here again. We'll go pretty quick. We're going to try to be out here pretty early uh, just to try to beat the hot sun. we got a few markets to go to tomorrow as well. But yeah, so far, so good. So the plan is to get this ready to be planted. Our plants are coming in next week. Or later on this week, I got to see exa what, exactly what date they're coming on. But we want to finish this off, uh, spread the uh, grass seed, and get this field ready to go. Just because if the plants come, we can start planting. If, it do, if we do get more rain, it could still be a little moist like this, and we could continue planting. But if your soil conditions aren't right, then it's really hard to lay the plastic or even to make the raised beds. And over here, this is where... 15 to 20,000 plants are coming right here. This is being old pasture, so it's going to take a little more work. I um, I plowed it, dissed it. Uh, we went through there and picked up the majority of all the big, big rocks and boulders and sticks and stuff. And now I'm going to come through here uh, one more time and plow it just to make sure that there's nothing uh, hiding underneath the soil there. And yeah, it, it might take a little more time and energy on my part to do that again, but it's I'm playing it safe and I don't want to have any issues with the soil and not working out right with the mulch layer there. So the next strawberry, I mean, we're going to be coming up to, like, up to here somewhere. And this field right here is uh, 360 foot long. So this would be one patch here. This patch right here, these rows are 500 plus foot long, like 510, 520. We're going to chop them in half. So we're going to have three different blocks of, of, of berries just so that you know, whenever you open up for you pick and it's just easier to manage, maintain fertilizer, water, and just kind of small stuff you learn over the years to make your life easier and makes your makes your customers life easier whenever they come out to the farm and you pick. Alrighty, all this is gonna be it for today. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I wanna say thanks for watching up this point. Y'all have a good day. We will see you next time. <laughs>